Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So I've talked about TikTok many a times, how it can be fun and how it can be absolutely f***ing terrible. Today, we're going this way. So I've seen a number of different like topics and trends and products that are being pushed on my For You page. So today we're gonna break them down and talk about why they are a little left up. Wait, I can do that better. What if it's like... Okay, so number one, you don't need this product. You don't need this product. If you need a machine to help you squat, something is wrong. I actually commented that and then the creator called me mean. You know what, I want patience for people who get gifted a free product and then have an affiliate code to continue making money off of a product that people don't need. I don't have an issue with people taking sponsorships, promoting products, but like if no one actually needs it, stop. I am just so sick of influencers and this girl is literally just an influencer, not a coach, not a trainer, promoting things that the general population is not really going to benefit from. Like what people are going to benefit from more is actually learning how to squat correctly so that they can get off the toilet when they're 80. Now, a lot of the talk in the comments, other people who did point out like you don't need this, the creator keeps saying, well, it's a great way for me to isolate my glutes and only work on my glutes. Number one, you're doing a squat it's a quad dominant exercise, it's knee dominant. Like sure, your glutes are working too, but if you only wanna work on your glutes, do hip dominant motions, do deadlifts, do bridges, do hip thrusts. Like that's the answer. It's not a $400 machine that does most of the work for you. So before you throw a bunch of money at a problem that you have, take a step back and think about, is there a simpler way that I can solve this? The answer is usually yes. I can't stand this girl. Look, I know that this woman has great intentions and I know that she means well, but none of this is, is right. Like, let's just start with the clickbait, want to get rid of your belly pooch. Diet culture marketing 101, she is targeting something that so many women are insecure about. So she's preying on your insecurities, right? Do this three times a week. So she's giving you core exercises, but she also says at the top, of every single video, don't forget, you can, it's also halfway covered. So I'm like, are you putting it all the way up there on purpose? The answer is yes. Don't forget, you can't target fat loss, but you can tone the area. What does that mean? You can't target fat loss, meaning you can't spot reduce fat by doing an exercise that is working that muscle group because muscle fiber is not fat tissue. Like it's two different things, but you can tone the area. You can't, spot reduce from that area, but you can build muscle and lose fat from the area. Cause that's what tone is. Tone means build muscle, lose fat. And look, if you want to use the word tone to describe your workouts and exercises, I don't have an issue with that because like, we all kind of know what you mean, right? You want that like thin look with muscle definition. But she again is using it in a way to confuse people. And it's almost like a disclaimer. She's like putting these exercises out there, but then going, but I know they won't work. You want an exercise to get rid of belly fat? Don't eat as much. I know that's like super reductive and I have so many videos that actually talk about like being in a caloric deficit and fat loss in a healthy way, but like <sighs> doing ab exercises, it's like, aren't we past? Are, are, don't we know this by now? Why are you still trying to trick people with this? Because people still believe it. I see it every day. So she does all these exercises and then if you look at the bottom, she's selling you something. Join my eight week program happening now, sign up in bio. So she's preying on your insecurities. She has a disclaimer at the top that is a tricky way of saying this won't actually work, but give me money. Just drives me crazy that we are still here. Anyway, I'm sure someone's gonna send her this video. Don't care. Face killer, go gorilla for the bag. Uh, that boy be a pussy, kill the vibe, he a drag. Uh, autobiography gon' look like a brag. Huh? Let's get to the money, I'm on PT, dirty ass. Uh, uh, Maybe fuck a razor white. Well, the little kid is really cute. <laughs> okay, so 
This creator is telling you how to get a flat tummy fast in just five days. Effective flat tummy drink to do, th do this to get rid of bloated belly fast, follow for more. So she goes through this whole drink, which I'm actually surprised is not a supplement drink. But then also at the very end goes, also don't eat late at night and avoid junk food. Do we think it's the drink that's bringing down the bloating? or the lack of junk food. Look, I'm sure if I like Googled all of those ingredients, I'm sure that there would be some studies out there somewhere that are like, all of these things can help reduce bloating. But I'm also gonna predict there's probably not enough science to be like, this always works 100% for everybody. I'll have to fact check everything I just said, but. I have a feeling. What is this bloating trend now? I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like now that it's it's not okay to be like, I want to lose weight, it's now being repackaged and marketed as like, oh, well, we're not helping you lose weight, we're helping you decrease your bloating. Are you though? Because it really just sounds like you took out junk food at night and then you lost weight. It is just another way that marketing is like playing with our brains to make us continue to want to be as small as possible. Just my luck, this TikTok has a copyright song playing underneath of it, so I can't use it in this video. But essentially what this person is saying is that she is a nutritionist. She does not like 90% of supplements because there is nothing that beats a caloric deficit for weight loss, but she does love this one supplement and then she gives you all of these reasons why. And then she tells you that you can buy it via the link in her bio. All right, Jordan, so here's the deal. Number one, this is the TikToker who was calling herself a registered dietitian for a long time, and people were like, girl, I don't think you're an RD because there's no record of you actually being an RD, and it turns out she wasn't an RD. <laughs> I don't know if she like didn't know that nutritionist and dietitian weren't the same thing, Literally anyone can call themselves a nutritionist. So anyway, I already know that back history of her, so that's number one. Number two, again, I don't, I don't have an issue with supplements, I don't have an issue with people taking sponsorships and affiliate links and anything like that. But the big red flag is that if you want to work with this woman, you literally have to buy these supplements. Okay, here's the thing. I know for a fact that used to be true because a lot of people called her out in the comments for it, but now it doesn't even look like she works with people one-on-one -on -one anymore, but I swear, faux gods, that used to be a thing. So, Queen, you're not a nutritionist, you're not a dietitian, you're a nutrition coach, like you are just an affiliate of whatever this sloppy goo is that you're pushing. I don't know anything about it, I don't know what's in it, but red flag. If you applied to work with me and I said, great, but you have to buy this sloppy goo that I'm selling. Walk away, report me, like I don't even know. It is so bizarre to me. But she does have a lot more followers than me, so maybe I'm doing something wrong. a whole video on this Beachbody four week gut protocol because, so again, just, just like the bloating, right? Which is really what this is. It's like, oh, you're bloated. Our program is gonna help you get rid of that. Number one, if you're experiencing like severe bloating, a little bloating is very normal, guys. Like, especially if you increase your fiber, right? That's gonna cause some gas, some bloating. If you eat foods that don't sit right with you for whatever reason, like you might have some bloating. Some bloating is fine. Also, your stomach getting bigger after you eat is not bloating. That's because you literally filled up your stomach, okay? So again, it is just this idea of like, how can we repackage weight loss because that's not socially acceptable anymore? I lost my train of thought. Oh, my point there was, if you are actually experiencing bloating that affects your day-to-day -day life, go see a doctor, go see a gastroenterologist, go see a registered dietitian. Don't, <laughs> please don't buy this from Beachbody. You don't have to be certified in shit to be a Beachbody coach, okay? So that's like number one. Number two, what does your physical appearance have to do with your gut being healthier. Why are we showing before and after pictures of someone's physique? Why are we showing before and after pictures of like their lab results, right? Because again, this is packaged as a gut protocol. I can't see your gut from the outside. I'm looking at your belly fat. So again, really, what is this? Is this a weight loss program? Spoiler alert, it definitely is. All right. 
I hope we enjoyed that. I feel like you guys have really been enjoying lately, like just the simple sit down, discuss a topic, get a little sassy videos. So I'm trying to give out more of those. As always, if you have any questions, please drop them down in the comment box below. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out and I will see you all in the next one.